Hi guys, and today I'll be playing Project Consciousness. Do you want to escape from your reality? Do you want to get away from all your problems and from pe the people that you hate? Do you want to take a break from existing? Project Consciousness will solve all your problems with this fantastic invention. You'll have an unforgettable experience thanks to the most talented scientist, Arnold Joseph. Well, let's see this experience, I guess. Blood. Fun. Are you tired from your life? Are you tired from your daily routine and want to change it? Project Consciousness is at the rescue. Our experts have been able to develop a device that transfers consciousness into another existence. Project Consciousness is a device developed by the scientist Arnold Joseph and many of his colleagues. The cortex of each part of the brain plays an important role in the production of consciousness, especially the prefrontal and posterior occipital cortices and the claustrum. However, the users of the device may suffer from... Hurry oh. up and be the first human to try our amazing invention. We yeah, no. Let's read scam all over it. Greetings, my dear. It's a pleasure to meet you. I assume you have some questions after all this. Go on, I'm all ears. Um, where am I? Oh dear, are you feeling anxious? Scared? There's nothing to be scared of here, dear. We are in a clinic? Specifically the main plain room that I prepare for the experiment. I am Arnold Joseph, the developer of Project Consciousness. I assume you already know all that due to the video I showed you in the beginning. Our clinic expresses its sincere gratitude for helping us achieving the aspirations of our community and will do its best not to disappoint you. Before we dive into our thrilling experiment, I would like to get to know you better. I believe you do too. May I ask what is your name please? It's Ashley, sir. It suits you quite well. Okay, let's move into the next question. How old are you, Miss Ashley? 17. Hmm. That's great. Last question. What's your favorite activity? Uh, well, not much. I enjoy games, manga, and anime. I see. I see. A useless part of society. <laughs> you can keep that to yourself, huh? Perhaps you chose these activities to escape your reality, correct? I guess you could say that. Hmm. I have one last question for you. Are you me- Mr. Arnold, I apologize for the interruption. Project Consciousness is almost ready. Oh dear, would you look at that? Seems I have to give go get the machine. I will leave Mr. Roberto here so you don't get too lonely while I'm out. That's a creepy bear. Ha, <laughs> I know how kids get too emotional sometimes. Sure. I don't like your freaky bear. Take it away. This is just staring. Awkward. <laughs> I like I actually acknowledged the bear existence. Um, Mr. Arnold. Oh, what the heck? Help me? Are you scared? What were you doing, man? Did you get it ready or what? Yes, Miss Ashley. In fact, I already done the preparation. Actually, Mr. Roberto did. What? Apparently, Mr. Roberto is a machine that measures human fears in their mental state. Oh, you mean just like a monster, a monster in the <laughs> No. Well, now that we have everything ready, shall we start? What was the question you wanted to ask before? What do you need to measure? What was the question you wanted to ask before? You're quite the sharp one, aren't you? I wanted to ask about your mental state. According to the test Mr. Roberto did, you are very close to the average mental states. Shall we start then? I will be placing the machine over the top of your head. I thought of letting you know in case you wonder what's on your head. Ah, uh, yes, thank you. What is the side effects of Project Consciousness? What's the side effects of it? Oh, you must mean the hallucinations. Oh, how silly of me. You may experience some hallucination while and after the experiments. But you needn't worry, Miss Ashley. You will vanquish after eight to nine hours. So, shall we begin now? Uh, I'm sorry. Take a deep breath.
There's nothing to be scared of. You'll be fine. Everyone, everything will be fine. I know what you did. Huh? This is bizarre. What have you done? What exactly is happening? What? Are you tired from your life? Are you tired from your daily routine and want to change it? Project Consciousness is at the rescue. Our experts have been able to develop a device that transfers consciousness into another existence. Who's this? Greetings, my dear guest. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. I assume you have some questions after all this. Go on, I'm all ears. Uh, what the hell just happened? Oh god, why are you screaming like this? There's no need to behave like this, dear. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. This is the first time we meet, correct? Dear, you seem paranoid. There's nothing to be so paranoid about. Perhaps we should take a break? Then we shall continue this, okay? Uh, yes. Wonderful. Let us both close our eyes and take a deep breath. Okay, what's happening now? What is this? What is this place? That's so nostalgic. I wish I could stay here forever. So peaceful. Oh look! These clouds formed a strange shape. This one's a car. This one's a banana. This one's a balloon. This one's a butterfly, of course. A flower. The heart of the sky. What's this over? Says now we watch the menu. Now we hang out such meanders in the sharp sky. Now look as if it's Gafilamas that's not says your name Vicky. Our clinic expresses its sincere gratitude for helping us achieving the aspirations of our community, and will do its best not to disappoint you. Before we dive into our thrilling experiment, I would like to know you better. May I ask what your name is, please? Uh, what? She was deleted. It suits you quite well. Okay, let us move into the next question. How does it feel to be on the other side, to be on the other side of this screen of yours? How does it feel to be so conscious of your own existence? How does it feel to realize that these ends and dots are fully aware of its own meaningless existence? How does it feel? Do you know yourself? What does having a flesh feel like? What? Where do you exist? Where do I exist? Where are we? What's real and what's not? What's going on? You can see this? Thank goodness. Don't you think it's weird for us to communicate? Don't you think it's weird for two different kinds of existences to be able to... Please, quit. <laughs> Mr. Arnold, I apologize for the interruption. Project Consciousness is almost ready. Oh dear, would you look at that? It seems that I have to go get the machine. I will leave... now? Something here? So don't get too lonely while I'm out. Oh, I know how kids get too emotional sometimes. So, is he putting people on stuffed animals? That's a little girl, obviously. Alice, Alice, where are you hiding? Alice, this is not funny. I'll get really upset if you don't open the door now. Oh, Dad, I'm sorry I didn't mean to hide from you. Alice, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I'm fine, Father. Whatever made you cry is important. I'm your father. I'll hear you. My friends at school keep bullying me. Not your friends. They say my mother died because of you. <laughs> your friends, they bully you. 
They say you're a murderer and I'm going to be next. Sometimes the only way to escape reality. Alice, open your eyes. It's so pretty, Father. This is your new friend. His name is Arnold. Are you listening? You seem quite off. There seems to be a lot of stuff happening and I'm not sure if I must be seeing it. Of course you do, dear. Who else am I going to do this experiment to? Perhaps you're tired? I understand. Maybe hallucinations? I did tell you about hallucinations as a side effect, didn't I? Please don't mind anything you see in this game other than the main script that you already saw. Please pay attention to the things I say and the things I do only. He's only trying to distract you. He's making you go crazy, isn't he? He's destroying this game, isn't he? He's destroying everything I built, my last hope. No. Everyone's, everything's last hope. Let me out of here. Alice, it's been three days. Won't you open the door for your father? Please, I made a cake for your birthday. Alice, you left me with no choice. <gasps> oh. Follow my mother? Goodbye, father. I chose to follow my mother. Oh, what? You killed your daughter. What have you done? <laughs> I chose to. I'm sorry for making your life and your mother so miserable. I'm really sorry. Huh. So her mother must have, you know, did that to herself too, then. Something, maybe the father was just overbearing in the way he was? Like his personality overall? And it seems like he created a persona of Arnold as a way to, like, keep his daughter's memories in like a virtual world i think i'm not really sure so how was it fellow player did you have fun playing this game no that's not it did you have fun escaping your reality eh. if your answer was yes then project consciousness has fulfilled it, its goal if no then project consciousness has fulfilled its goal too either it's wanting to escape your problems or you were so bored that you decided to play this game or the simple urge to stop existing. It depends on how you view the concept of reality, really. It is you who will decide what is real. I know you may be wondering now, what was all this and what was the meaning of it? Well, all I can say is no matter how you try to change everything to save them, it will always be the same end. They will all have the same fate, since they never really existed in the first place. Since it's all a game. You know what I mean, right? I kinda wonder. Do you think I exist? Do you think you exist at all in your dimension? I hope you give it a little bit of a more serious thought. Well, fellow player, we reached the end. Or we didn't, I guess. There is no end to this absurd conversation. You know, I will be saying the same meaningless words over and over. Oh dear, I must be distracting you from your reality in your daily routine. Or not, after all. Why are you still here looking at my words? Well, seems like this one decided meaningless conversation is reaching an end in this reality. I must go now. Until next time, dear fellow player. Okay, oh, that is the end of Project Consciousness. That was an interesting concept. I really wasn't expecting the story to take a turn like, a dark turn like that. Well, I expected it to take a dark turn, but like not a really dark, dark turn like that. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!